Friends and Sharon fans, the Foxboro High School Senior Night. We will be announcing our seniors with their parents and we'll follow with the national anthem. End of our city home game. First, we would like to recognize the Sharon Seniors.
Good evening and welcome to Foxborough High School Gymnasium where we are here for senior night for the Foxborough Girls Volleyball Varsity Squad. They've just come out and done their uh, senior introductions with their parents and we're standing by now for the um, national anthem to be sung by Juliana Kusha. And we will pause for that and then come right back with proper introductions. Gianna Kusha, excuse me. Excellent job by Gianna Kusha with the National Anthem. Todd Kayser with the announcements of the seniors and their families. And a uh, little acknowledgement of the Sharon seniors to start the, start the uh, process off for us here tonight as well. My name is Kevin Penders. I get the pleasure of bringing you Foxborough Cable Access coverage of Senior Night here with the Volleyball Women alongside this new and improved sidekick, which is Mike Grace. Mike, how are you? Thanks, Kevin, for uh, letting me tag along here <laughs> tonight with you. You have a heavy burden. Well, you, any, anybody who's watched my coverage before knows you have a heavy burden. Well, you are a three-sport announcer in Foxborough, I'm, so you're building a reputation. There's so. a difference between actually talking about the three sports or just covering them during cable. But tonight, we're going to do our best to cover senior night. Very exciting for the girls. Uh, Foxborough, currently number six in the Davenport, uh, playing against Sharon, number five. This is a good little rivalry opportunity for them to take a, take a point and do a little rising in the rankings. And hopefully Foxborough will be able to take advantage of that. And um, Kevin, what's, what's so amazing is we have 11 seniors tonight. 11 uh, seniors, eight, eight, yeah. Eight. Senior night was long. Yeah, and it's just a, a credit to the age, to the whole group because we go all the way down from um, to JV to freshmen and the teams are stacked. And I'll tell you, these uh, young women who are leading uh, the, the team and the, and the program have just uh, been role models across the board. And in, in, a, in a growing and deep program, right? The, uh, the freshman team, where your daughter and mine get the pleasure of playing, uh, have, have big, sh big uh, shoes to fill. They know it. They like these kids a lot. A lot of great harmony among the different divisions uh, between the freshman, the JV, and the varsity squads. Very exciting. Very exciting. So we have out here tonight, uh, starting us off, number five, Sydney LeBeau. Let's see, number 15, I'm gonna call him as I see him, Alyssa Clority, one of the seniors. Number 12, Sammy Sloan, senior captain. Um, let's see, what else? Number 14, I've got Sarah Foley. Number 16, Mallory Mayer. And who was my last player? Number two, Juliana Pettigrew. So all senior crew out there at center stage, center court. So I don't want to throw you a curveball, but, but we should actually announce all of the seniors. We should, and we can do that right now. Not right now. Let's, yeah. uh, let's, give, let's give them their due credit. All so. right, so let's go. For number, the first one we have on our rosters as they're working through their lineups and making their substitutions here, the ref getting everybody in order. Number two, Juliana Pettigrew. Number three, Ava Kirk. Number five, Sydney LeBeau. Number six, Captain Shannon McElhenney. Number eight, Isabel Labonte. Number nine, Isabel Pacella. Number 12, Captain Sammy Sloan. Trading out now, Juliana Pettigrew. In comes number six, Captain Shannon McElhenney, as we were just saying. Uh, I think I left off with Sammy Sloan, number 12, the captain. 
Next in as the seniors is number 14, Sarah Foley. Number 15, Alyssa Clority, senior captain. Number 16, Mallory Mayer. And number 19, Stephanie Amanzi. That is a 11 seniors, a yes. very deep lineup. Only one sophomore and one, two, three, four juniors rounding out the roster. So a lot of, uh, a lot of open spots on this squad next year. And with that, we are underway. Sydney LeBeau with the serve. Sharon moving the ball around. Hard ball up and over. Stopped by, oh, net oh, ball. Oh. Stopped by McElhenney. And, and I'm thinking we had a net back. violation. We have a sure. net violation there. One point for Foxborough. We're on the board. Yes. Hard, strong return by Sharon. Stopped by McElhenney as the libero. Long ball. On the serve by LeBeau. Sharon counters. Ooh, Ooh, hard shot on the side by Sammy Sloan, but wide to the outside and out of play. We do like the enthusiasm, we like the power on that. She was, she was going she for was, the corner. She so. was warming up in, in warm-ups with that, and those things were bouncing over here to the booth uh, with regularity. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna take one off the head at the rate this is going. Sharon looking to counter, jump serve. Nice dig by McElhenney. But yeah, they just had uh, a little floater there over the net and got the, the, the point. Thought they were going to drive it hard, but they just tipped it over. So I'm, I'm catching up on this, Mike. You know, we, we have a lot of, uh, of learning of our own to do for the sport. But Sharon, McElhenney to dig. There's the set. Sloan trying to send it up and over. Not there, caught in the net. And Foxborough in a little bit of a hole. Um, but, I, you know, I had to catch, I, I was very confused with the dual uniforms. I had to sort of do some homework on that. So I have a sense of, there it is again. All plays seem to be going to Shannon McElhenney. She's doing a great job as the libero to get that out. It sounds, I, I, like, I just like it because it sounds like we have somebody deeply Italian. What is a dig. great dig there. Oh. oh. I believe we refer to that as a campfire. campfire. Yes, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's a, a little moment there yeah. as we all just uh, sit by the campfire and make some s'mores. Great play by McElhenney getting on that dig uh, as that ball was hard to the to the backside for Foxborough. She, she, came, she came, came and made a beautiful play there. Sharon continuing oh. to be on a roll. That one is in. Foxborough playing it to be out on the back line, but no such luck. Yeah, that's a tough one right there. That was right on the line. Right next to the antenna, going down. I don't know if the, the, the team was saying it's out, it's out. They were, they all yeah. they all sort of stepped away from it. Yep. And that one, McElhenney wanted it, but stepped away from it. That would be out of pounds, and that one is gonna be Foxborough ball. They get away with a missed opportunity there. Now to serve, senior captain Alyssa Clority. See if she can Get some points back on the board for Foxborough. Sharon with the dig, the set, the bump. There it is. Foxborough counters. There it is. And there's a point there. Nice spike by Sammy. Absolutely. Point. Set up again by McElhenney and then, and then. Okay, let's see. There we're gonna, we go. We're gonna see here if we can pull it off. That one gets away. McElhenney with a one-handed bump there to get that up and over the line, keep the, keep the play in. Okay, we're back perspective. live. We're back live. Sharon looking to answer. There's a block. Set. Nice little poke up there and over is. by Sammy Sloan as she fakes out the block. And we managed to just dink it and up Foxborough, around the blockers. And Foxborough is climbing out of that hole that you they mentioned earlier. They are indeed. We, we, were down, we were down like one, you know, one to four. It, it was, now we it was, five. It was five two at one point. Foxborough now pulling, chance to pull even. Well, security again. Sharon's libero sends that one. That's going to be a long ball playing out. And Foxborough, new game, tied up. A lot of restraint not to play that. That was yes, close. It was oh hard. Boy. You could see Shannon McElhenney yeah. wanted it. But they, uh, I, think th I think she was um, giving a little sideline advice. Oh, oh nice, nice low worm burner there as that gets up and over the net. Oop. Love it. Everybody's on the floor. This one's got to go over. It does. Sharon answering. McElhenney, oh. oh, unable to control. Clority gets to the floor, but not able to 
give us further dig, and that's going to be Sharon Ball. A lot of effort. It just didn't get forward to the net. You know, it was, it was, a, it was a good catch. Just needed a little more time. Little you, more time. you had the first bounce, the first bump, and then the second one was just a little out of play, a little uh, out, of, out of range. Oh, nice oh. quick dump as number 16, Mallory Mayer, makes the first first bump and then is following up to make the spike. Uh, but the setter on that play just up and overs across the Sharon defense, 6-6. Six, six. So we've seen many, many points served today by um, Earn today doing the dump. Instead of trying to drive them, they, they're picking the, the open holes and they're just dropping them in. Sloan's serve is now being volleyed back and forth. That one bounce, takes a hard bounce off Sidney LeBeau, out of play. And we have some substitutions for Sharon. Apologies to anybody who's listening from Sharon. We have last year's roster, so we, uh, somebody wants to send it to us, they're more than welcome to do so, but we will be calling out uh, Sharon as a group. Oh, nice, yeah. nice block there. Great scoop to keep that in play. Another block, oh, nice defense uh, there, up and over the antenna and out of play. Good job by Foxborough to, to keep at it as those balls are coming hard over that net. What we're, we're seeing tonight, we're seeing second effort on both sides here. Both teams are just giving it all they have. Strong serve. And that's going to be a net ball. Pettigrew hits the net, and that's going to be a violation and off to Sharon. You're seeing a lot of good first contact from LeBeau and McElhenney on that back line. McElhenney, that one takes a hard bounce off. Scooped back into play by Labonte and up and over. Sharon answers. McElhenney again. That one is to LeBeau again. And up and over. Oh, trying to get to the floor. I think uh, Meyer, got a, Meyer got a piece of it as it was coming across the net, but uh, unable to block it, and we were unable to do the dig on um, Almost the a little off line. speed. She was going for the spike and the went off the side ball. of her. Yep. Oop, long bounce off of LeBeau and out of play on the hard serve there. Yeah. We got a time out. out. For Foxborough. For Foxborough. Want to slow Foxborough, it down, regroup. Foxborough uh, in a bit of a hole here. A minute on the clock for the timeout. And it is 11 to 6. Oh, let's see it. We're going to see a, a okay. we're going to see the dig here so you see Sharon come up, make the play, and you're going to see the uh, Oh, nope, that's not the one I thought we were going to have. Sorry. Was, Sorry was, cable access. That was a different nope. play than I thought we were getting. But a nice little uh, dish by Sharon to get up and over there and LeBeau unable to uh, get there to the corner to dig that one out. Yeah, Foxborough was set a little deep there. They were expecting a little that ball to come harder. Just couldn't make it up, about five, six feet. We're, uh, we're here on the uh, Sharon side of the court this evening, so you're going to get to listen to a lot of very enthusiastic Sharon Eagles, many of whom have played their own games already today as the uh, Foxborough Warrior women Warriors, Warrior yep. women uh, taking a win on the freshman squad, uh, losing in three sets to the JV squad, and now Balls the varsity's in. at work. Nice punch by Pettigrew, not able to sneak past the defenders. McElhenney set Pettigrew again. Yeah. That Comes was a back at it. Yeah, tipped and off the net. Well, fell short. well played by Foxborough yeah. there, using all three of those bump set spikes, and that was Alyssa Clority in the middle doing the given the set on that play. Checking in for Foxborough, number three, Ava Kirk. Checking out is Sidney LeBeau on the substitutions. The ball is away by Mayer. She manages to keep a piece of it there. Just like that, Ava Kirk puts that back over the net. Long ball, broken up by McElhenney, saved. Dropped down, nice dig by the libero for Sharon. Kirk sends that one long. Yeah. Kirk. And effective. Yeah, Ava Kirk is just, she, before she's hitting them, she's looking. She's trying to find the she's, gap. She's looking, for, exactly, exactly. Here we're going to see Foxborough's previous spike on that set from Clarity to Pettigrew. And excellently done. Actually, it's, I'm going to take it back. That was Labonte to Pettigrew. 
well done all the same. Kirk, quick touch at the net, makes the block and sends it back down. Sharon unable to answer. Foxborough closing the gap. 11-9. Mayer with the serve. It's up and away. It's long. Yeah. Three Sharon defenders there. Size it up and walk away. Had a had a good had a good float. It got there with purpose over the line and then it just sort of continued to stay on trajectory instead of dropping down. Sharon looking to answer. Not there. Unable to clear over the net. Change of possession. Foxborough's ball. Here we're gonna see Ava Kirk. She just taking advantage of the that that lazy floater yeah, there yeah. for her to pump back into into the Sharon end. Isabel Laponte now. Hard serve to the outside. Quickly, a oh, little miscommunication, but it's still up and over. Pettigrew blocked, manages to maintain possession. Long ball, oh! Foxborough with too many, too many sneaking to the middle and to the front line. The back coverage is exposed and that is a change of possession, Sharon Point. And that was quick hands by Pettigrew. She, she, yes. she went for the spike, got blocked, received the ball, and kept it in play. Right back at it, that's right. And good, good, good instincts, good rebound, good uh, second, second effort. Kirk with a spike there. Sharon manages to counter. McElhenney unable to get there to dig on that one. Sharon with the point. I love all the handshakes and uh, like formations and, and stuff that they're doing there. It's not McElhenney with manages to possess. Oh, there Pettigrew. It is. Yes, excellent. Out of she, she knew she was off balance and out of position there, right? She did it on her back arm. That was her. Well, uh, she was up. She was committed. She, she had to she, make a move. Exactly. She, did she it. was up. She was committed. She knew she didn't have the spike, and she just d dinked it under the other side. She's going to serve for us now. In comes Sloan. Ball is back yeah. over. Saved by Mayer. Good play by Sharon there. They saved that by one. Mayer again. Kirk, the spike. Man, they managed to maintain. 14 now for Sarah Foley in. Sammy Sloan trying to get that one. Oh, oh and there Kirk it does is. it again. Yep. Soft hands seem to be the thing uh, tonight. Seriously, you know? Palm Olive. Yeah. Uh, she, she, <laughs> she just got that up yeah. and she was soaking in it. Absolutely. We need a run here with Foxborough to get back. Well, Pettigrew even. leading the charge. That's gonna that's oh. gonna play. Unfortunately, just out off the line. Just shy, a couple inches. I, I, I was willing it there on my yep. commentary. I thought that was good. It was good from our angle. Well, we're not lined up, that's why. That's we're, exactly. we're offset a little bit on that one. Sharon, lefty serve. Does not carry. Got it. Foxborough taking a chance to take, take, a, take possession here. Now serving number five, Sidney LeBeau. A lot of enthusiasm on the bench there. Foxborough, they're high-fiving each other, they're talking, they're cheering. They're in it. LeBeau, long serve, possessed by Sharon. Spike and out. Oh, oh no. Uh, they're, they're just, they're a little disagreement there yeah. between the refs, but yep. they're going to call that a Sharon point in play. I picked that far corner. Excellent spike by Sharon there. You truly see the need for the two refs, absolutely, on this. Oh, One right. for the net, one for the out of bounds. You'd never be able to call it. Yeah, no, that's def definitely here. They're in control, these two refs. I also like the fact that they have a ladder for the, for the net. You know, I, was, uh, I was thinking about getting one of those for, for the commentary. <laughs> I think I'd be better up there on the ladder, don't you think? But you'd be right, you'd be right there. You'd be uh, the eye in the sky, okay? <laughs> you, you could start predicting the ball at that point, <laughs> where it's going to land. Now serving number 15, Alyssa Clarity, senior. There it is. Captain. Ball is loose, They're rattling around. They're communicating. It's out of bounds. 
That will be Sharon who manages to get it back over the net, but out of play. That'll be a Foxborough point. Alyssa to serve again. Here she comes. Nice laser beam through and over. Sharon looking to set. They do. Saved by Clority. Up and over by Meyer. Sloan dinks and dunks and drops it over the Sharon defense. We are all tied up. We this are all tied up. We started 0 0. We're back there now. Here we go. Fox was got a little momentum. Clarity, serve. Excellent serve. Oh, there it is. Oh, boy. That's, a, that's an ace. We're calling it. That's an ace. Yes. It's unplayable for Sharon there. Yeah, it's tough when they come right at your chest that's and, you, it. and you, can't, you, you can't decide which way to Clarity go. Oh, it. Oh, that's still in play. Ball. It can hit the ceiling as long as it's not Mac going over the net. To Clarity. Oh, look at that. To spike to. 16, Mayer. They keep on, they keep on rolling. They're in a good little, good little zone here now. Foxborough continuing. That's, oh, that's going to be hard to play. Yep. Yes. Point, Foxborough. I will say on every single play, both teams are giving it 100%. There is no watching, uh, we can't get it. They're diving, they're doing nope. whatever it takes. Best Second effort. Here comes another one. She, oh, think, she's the thing with her, oh, another, another roof ball. Yeah. Up and over. Dead by Sloan. Long ball. Uh, oh, out of play. As Isabel Labonte tries to send it far side. She wanted that far corner. It was she wide did. open. Just a little, just about two feet it. beyond. But I agree with you, Mike. You're seeing, you're seeing a lot of second efforts. You're seeing a lot of, you know, diving and digging. McElhenney. There's no Clarity easy points to Sloan. There it is, the she's soft hands again. She's making that one look easy, though. She's got that play down, just managing. Sammy Sloan seems to be just uh, managing to get everything dropped right at the feet. And I, don't, and I don't know if she's not being challenged by two at the net, so it's giving that opening, because if there's two up there, you're not going to get that. She tries for the jumping hard serve, not there. Now she will check out. McElhenney will check back oh, in. Here, it here is. we're going to see it. There's McElhenney to Clority. To Sloan. Sloan. Yep. She's got a little distance on that jump as she as she makes the makes the move. So but you're seeing that though, that was the three captains connecting on that point. McElhenney, Clarity, Pettigrew sends that one over. That's a net oh. ball. Oh, violation on the net by Fox against Brown. us. I thought I really thought that was them, but okay. You know, it's like the final five. This is when you get to the final five. It's about finishing right now. Foxborough is up. They got to try to put this away. Nice job yeah. by LeBeau and McElhenney to maintain possession, and then for Foxborough to get the ball over the net. Quick spike and go. wide. Foxborough picks up a point. Long ball on the hit from number 34. From Sharon. She had the power right she, there. She, she sure did. If it was inside, that was going to be a point, but just about three feet outside. Foxborough's advantage. And here's that Meyer serve. to make the, sp the serve there. She does. Sharon sends it long across, not able to get it over the net. Yep. 22 for Foxborough. Timeout, Sharon. Makes sense, yep. given the march that we've uh, that Foxborough has put together here to get back in this thing and to take the lead. So after the timeout, we'll come back. We'll have Foxborough will have the serve. And let's see if and they can to see um, if they can continue to build. Yeah, one point at a time. Yeah, seeing uh, they they seem they seem light. They seem happy. They're engaged. They, they look like they're having some yeah. fun out here. Yeah, we got a full Good crowd show. on the Foxborough side. Senior night. You got love seeing the parents out here, especially the senior parents who've been traveling with their 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 daughters for years. Think how many bus rides, this how many away games they've gone to. This is like their night. So absolutely. it's exciting. It's, we're, yeah, we're, it's, we've both been there. We've both we, been We seniors. have. We have. And uh, we'll be there again, hopefully. Yeah. So it's, you see siblings. It's, it's so exciting. It's, it's, it's awesome. I, I, I love that. I also love, and I think it's a, you know, it's a, a little bit of a difference between the women's and the men's sports, um, the amount of uh, dedication that the underclassmen are giving to. Oh, as McElhenney looks to get down. And that one just not able to pancake that up. 
Um, the level of dedication, like all of the JV and, and freshman players are wearing garb in honor of their seniors tonight. Yeah, they were um, all they were they all were um, assigned a senior they, yes. and it was great. They were in here they were in the school about six forty five decorating lockers. Just excellent. Oh I'm able to get that one up and over Isabel Labonte just uh, short on the on the net there. That's uh, Sharon making a little run of its own here. 22-21 Foxborough. Long ball. Foxborough taking advantage of the lines. That's a gutsy not to play that. It really that was. was. I was. It really was. Good call by you, Mallory Meyer. You could hear the air in the gym go. And then Foxborough got it. But they knew it. Here we're going to see it here. There's the serve. Long ball. I mean, oh. they're ready. They're oh. like, oh, yeah, not by much. Not by much at all. That was a, luck, a lucky no bid. Labonte now. Nice. Serve. Nice serve. Nice and low. And that's, yep. Light, that was only Sharon, about eight inches over the net. That's Sharon's really libero hard. getting there to get the first touch, but uh, unable to possess. That thing came over low and hard. Here, we're going to see it again. Very nice serve by Isabel Labonte. See if she could do it again. Match point. Yep. She does. Again, saved by the libero. Up and over by Sharon. McElhenney answers. Save spike by Pettigrew. Dink and dunk. Levante answers to Clarity. To Kirk. Oh, she picked the corner that Sharon was ready she for. She did. It. Oh, and Kirk oh. gets a block. Sharon manages to hold on, oh, but unable to get it back over the net. And Foxborough picks up the first game, first match, 25-21. Rotations coming up, but excellent work by the Lady Warriors in match one. We do have a three-minute break. Oh, here the, we're going to see. It is. I think Ava that, Kirk's at least third block is. of this of this oh, match. Oh, it was a block. It excellent. rolled off the net, and it still stayed. And I, and the the hit by Sharon just didn't make it. They, Over. they were there. They were there for it, uh, but oh, yeah. it, she's been, she's been very effective with that. Again, the palm olive play. Uh, so I'm dating myself, <laughs> okay? Because right? yes, yes. I mean, Madge is soaking in it, and anybody else who doesn't know what that is has to look it up. Yeah. So that's that's really. <laughs> is the, that the trivia question of the night? It may not be the trivia question of the we, night, but it's my random 1970s commercial of the we're night. We're dating ourselves that. very quickly. Well, here. you because okay. only because you admitted you know what it is. Yeah, I know exactly that's what it is. <laughs> We all saw the commercials. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but really great play by the uh, the Lady Warriors and the Sharon Lady Eagles. They're doing a great job of uh, and they, keeping at it. They switch sides now yep. on the bench. This is something else that uh, y you never see in, in the other sports that I spend a lot of time studying. I think one thing is you get your momentum. So if you with the, it's the best of five here. Right. So if, if, you, if you lose your groove a little bit, this gets, allows you to reset. Unfortunately for Foxborough, who's in the groove, they they get a little break, so they, hopefully the, th the three minute cooler. Yeah, so yeah. you know, hopefully they can pick off where they um, pick up where they left off to, to keep this momentum going. But now this gives Sharon a little opportunity, and that last one was close. Well, it was you know at 25, 22. Well, the Sharon came out. Yeah. Sharon came out early. They were on that run. They had uh, the lead all the way up till it was uh, tied six, at 16. 16. Yep. So certainly you're going to see that sort of back and forth competition, and and that's something that I think the the, the Foxborough girls have seen most of their season. Again, not a not a lot of wins in the win column, but a lot of effort in oh. in those losses too. They oh, worked a lot really of hard. A lot of game fives. A lot of, a lot of game know, fives. Exactly. Pushing, pushing these bigger schools to the limit. Um, you know, though, that means something, and, it, and it's going to pay off, especially when we started talking about playoffs um, so, potentially. Right. I mean, this is one of my soapbox issues, but the reality of the situation is Foxborough is the only Division three program in its fall sports um, in the Hawk. And so every time we play a Hawk team, we're playing somebody with greater um, resources to draw off of. Not heart, not effort, just a bigger pool. Uh, and and bigger, so bigger schools. Bigger absolutely. schools, yep. right? So here's a great they shot of all the parents yep. and their Look supporting fans and their players as uh, 
Those, you get a bunch of freshmen and JV players in there too, mixing it up, cheering on these Foxborough Lady Warriors as they get ready for the second match. And we had a lot of uh, athletes from other sports. A lot of the uh, girls from the soccer team are here supporting the seniors. I saw a bunch of guys from the football team come through earlier. The leg, Sam Carpenter was here. I think the seniors. Shout. I think the seniors usually uh, they all support each other throughout the whole year. All the senior um, athletes come and support their fellow seniors throughout the whole year. Well, and so many of these kids are multi-sport or multi-activity athletes, right? So so the kids that are on those other sports and programs are here in support of them because they're friends with them outside of volleyball. Yep. It's not, uh, I mean, Sammy Sloan's a perfectly good example. She'll go from, from captaining this to I think captaining winter cheer. Um, and a bunch of these other young ladies are on track or other activities as well. So uh, there's, uh, there's a plenty of, um, Okay. opportunity for them to so be how, supportive. So how's our lineup for, um, oh, yeah, for number see. two? Let's see. So let's see. First of all, I've got uh, who we got out here to start. So we've got Isabel Pacella. Number nine is out here. Number yep. 16, Mallory Meyer stays. Uh, number five, Ava, uh, Sydney LeBeau continues. Molly, um, uh, Molly McElhenney, excuse me, Shannon McElhenney. Number six remains as libero. Sammy Sloan is out there Sammy as well. Sammy Sloan is out there as well. I'm missing one person, Alyssa uh, Clority. Yep. And that one is long, and we begin with a point for Foxborough. Alyssa Clority ready to take. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to guess that if you the lose, serve. if you lose the game, then you earn the serve for the next game. Well, that uh, yep. it, it looked that way. Oh, and, checking oh, in for the checking. first time, we have Stephanie Amanzi, senior. That ball is long, but it was played. Dug by Libero, Sharon's Libero. Oh, good ball dig. Was good down. dig. Good job by, oh, nice. Oh, too hard, too hard. Too hard, but a nice clearing spike by Sloan over the net. Sidney LeBeau with the initial dig on the play. Sharon, all tied up at one now. We'll see what happens. A little discussion for Foxborough on what's our lineup. LeBeau to Clarity, over by Mayer. Oh, oh was that, that will be, that, was that a block right there? I don't know that it was. By I Stephanie thought it was Amanzi? in the net, but Stephanie Amanzi was right there we, on the play. Well, and I don't subbing know. out, McElhenney goes out. I'm going to give him a, give a block because it came back so hard, that, but that, I don't have the instant replay. That seems reasonable to me. Sloan with a hard serve off the libero from Sharon, who looks to get it up and over. Oh, oh I think that, that was out. going out. I think so. so. That's, Tough bid there, Alyssa Clority trying to keep that in play. Um, now that yeah. was a jump serve by um, Sloan. Usually was. not her style. Usually she uh, has that set serve. Well, she she put a little mustard yep. on it, yeah. And Sloan going out, McElhenney coming in. Oh, there Amanzi it is. With a nice little tip. Oh, we're gonna oh, here see we here. Go. Asking you shall find, Mike, here it is. Oh, the, I, just, I think just it was. the end of it. Yep, okay, it I definitely think so. was. As Mallory Mayer and um, Stephanie Amanzi combined for a nice block there at the net. Mayer with oh, there a serve there that gets rattled around by the Sharon back line and out of play. Foxborough. So that's the terminology. Continuing it's to called build. the dump. Called the dump when you got your palm all of hands and yes, you go up and you little, find and you pick a hole and you lay it in there softly. It's called the dump. <laughs> I love that you're recent. Oh, nice block by Pettigrew. Oh, Sharon nice. Sharon able to maintain possession. Kirk in now. She oh, oh wow. one hand saved by McElhenney. Look at that. Pettigrew gets that up and over. This one's got to come back. It does. McElhenney. Amanzi, Clarity in between. Amanzi nice. makes the block there. And Foxborough now that one might with have been, a point. That, that was a net. That was a net. You had the better angle. But if, if, it, did, if it was going to go over, they were there for the ball. She was there, absolutely. Nice little run here for Foxborough. Big serve. Mayor, nice big serve. Yes. They're going to let that one go. Oh. That's going to drop in. Foxborough with the point. Here comes that one-handed save by Shannon McElhenney. Boom. Fabulous work by her. And then to Mayer, and then with the one-handed push by Pettigrew to get that up and over the line. Mayer continuing 
Just hammer that pound that back yep. line. And now with the dig to Clority, to Pettigrew. Sharon managing to maintain possession. They get it up and over. Clority holds on. Oh, what happened? Amanzi gets a piece of the net. So they called that. She went. She was under the net. Oh, okay. So Foxborough having a good run there, building a 6-3 lead. Sharon getting a chance here to try to answer for some points. And if you notice the coaching staff of Foxborough, the freshman and the JV and the Vasi are all oh, here. Oh, nice tip by Clority. Up and over. Oh, oh dug by McElhenney, but they're saying on the ground first. Yeah. I, I do love the fact that the entire coaching staff is over there. Um, Mike, not lost on me. So, you know, led by Vicky Santana, they the kids really like her. They're running a great program, and I think they uh, – Oh, nice block by Shannon Mac uh, I keep calling her Shannon McElhenney because she was in Michael and Nick's grade. Um, so I keep messing that up. So apologies. Oh, Shannon McElhenney. Uh, yeah, Molly McElhenney is yes. what I'm thinking of. Sorry. Um, so apologies to Shannon McElhenney at the outset for every time I call you Molly by accident. That's going to be in. Oh. Pettigrew let that one go down the line. McElhenney giving it pursuit, but not there. It's tied up. So good shout out to uh, the entire coaching staff. Uh, you got uh, Vicky Santana, Hannah Andre, Dave Griffin, Haley Knowles, and Jackie McCann. Blocked by oh, nice bid to get that up and over off the off the net by Kirk and Clority and Mayer. Saved by McElhenney. Nice, nice set. Set by Clority. Pushed over by Kirk. That's wow. out. And Foxborough gets the point. But you're, see, you're seeing on that side hitter play, uh, Pacella checking in for uh, Amanzi. Uh, you're seeing on that side hitter play, Amanzi and Kirk collapse on them for two blockers there. Pacella. Oh. That one gets away. Foxborough unable to build. And off we go. I think we had a substitute for Sharon bringing in a server. Yes. Yes. And she's up and over. Mayor, Clority, Pettigrew. Very effective as a side hitter. That was almost like an off-speed hit. She got up, she wound up, and then yep, it, um, she's done that a few times. Yeah. She's she's checking she, out is McElhenney in is Sloan. She, and she doesn't have a, um, a wind-up to it. Like, it looks like she's, you know, it looks like she wants to go a certain way and then is, is doing it, you know, sort of on an offhand basis. But it's very effective for her. And that serve by um, number two from Foxborough. Pedigree. Really, yeah, yep. really made it difficult for them to return it. And it ended up being in the net point for Foxborough. There's oh. another one. They're going to have to get there fast. They do. The libero sends that over. Mayer, Clority, Kirk. No. Long to the outside corner. She's trying to pick those corners. Just paints it a little to the wide, a little too wide out there. And I'm amazed when we're sitting here and we're like 15, Pedigree checks out. 15 feet, and you can hear the power on these serves. Oh yeah. So it, the gym fills up. Blows my hair back. <laughs> <laughs> and it never recovered. And it never recovered after the <laughs> first hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice save there on the dump by. Oh, oh. good bid by. Mayor to get in there to try to keep that in play, but up over and out of bounds. Foxborough, we are knotted up at nine. McElhenney, Pachella, and Mayer on the back line. Here it comes. They let that one go. Yep. It's in bounds. And that will stay Sharon Ball. Point, Sharon. They're having a hard time on that corner right there, Mike. Yep, well, it's usually the side, the, you know, the, the serve is um, directly across, and they're, they're, they're picking it. That one's long. Pacella digs it. Clority. Sloan. Over it goes. Sharon looking to regroup and resend. Mayer. Nice set over to Sloan. To Sloan. Oh, opposite direction. Again, hit back. Again, managed to possess by Sharon. Blocked by Kirk. Oh, Pacella to the floor, unable to come away with it. Kirk gets a good block on it, but uh, blocks sideways. And Foxborough 
unable to possess. Here you're going to see it. As they come up, they send it. She times it right. She gets a piece of it. And then it goes to, Clo it hits Clority and it hits, and there's a nice uh, spike by Sloan from the corner to get the possession back and points for Foxborough. It seems there. like they're, they're, they're getting a lot of their points right in that middle. Yes. They, they're going to the outside, driving it to the middle. And it's, um, we're back to the campfire almost. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, there's no one there and they're picking that, they're finding that hole, which is nice. Ava Kirk checks out Sydney LeBeau in to serve. And she does. Excellent serve by LeBeau. That rattles around on the Sharon line. There's a, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what the call was there. I'm, Two hit? I'm not sure, but you know, if you look at her serve, there's no rotation on the ball. None. And that's, I think they call that the floater, and it's really hard to gauge. It's like a knuck, knuckle ball? Yes. That one has a little, a little, little rotation bit of spin on, on that, that one. one. Yep. And she sets, digs that one. Set by Clority, spike yes. by Mayer. Point by Foxborough. Very effective. Textbook right there. Very Textbook. effective teamwork combination there. Impressive. And Foxborough and Sharon are uh, unable to get yeah, that one up. They are going back and forth. No one, no one has a clear advantage at all. No. Here we're gonna see it here. Clarity to Mayor. Yeah. There just it was. puts it away. And she's, Again, at the, she's at the perfect elevation when she's hitting. She's hitting on the way down. Right. So we're tied at 12. Sharon with the serve. And here it comes. Up and over. Bump. Set. Spike. Oh. Caught up in the net. Not able to. Mm -hmm. Caught up or blocked. Able, yeah, it might have been blocked by Sharon. Might have been blocked. Yep. The, the, way, the way it recoiled off that net, I think there was hands behind it. Fair enough. Either way, Sharon Point. Michael Honey with the dig. Set by Clarity. Spike by Sloan. Nice dig by Sharon. Sharon doing an excellent job defensively to maintain. Another shot for Foxborough here. It is. Oh, they got that one. Short set there by Clarity to Mayer. I don't know if that was a set play. When they went to set it, they had two people going for it, and I don't know if it distracted Sharon to know who the hitter was going to be, but it definitely uh, kind Mind of froze games. them. Mind games. Very effective. Checking out is Pachella. Checking in is Amanzi. And serving is Clority. Hard serve. Answered by Sharon. And oh. I, I can't tell. Yeah, I that's, think yep. it was blocked, but it went block. out. But that's a point. And here we have the previous point. So there's your dig there. Clority with the set. See, you got one going, and then Sammy right. was right behind. Well, Slo Sloan was there for the longer play, yep. for the longer set. And Clority and Mayer connected for the short set spike. Very effective. Sharon answers. McElhenney to Clority. Sloan trying to go on the weak side for that set, unable to connect. I'm not sure why the whistle before the ball was down, but Maybe it might have, she might have That was that. the third hit, and it hadn't gone oh, over. Okay. So it was automatically uh, dead ball. So playing it there wouldn't have helped. I do like the instincts, though. The ball comes in, the hands are going up. Yeah, that's uh, the, that, that's the job, right? Doesn't we matter do, how we, many. We, I don't I don't need to count. My job is to get the thing over the net. We're going to see the last point here from Foxborough as Sloan. Oh, that's the last point that is on the board. It's uh, Sh Sharon's 15th point. As you so, saw the set from uh, Mayer. We are seeing a little momentum change here in, in Sharon's favor. They're up by two. And they have the uh, and that was they, they have the serve now. Yep, time out, Foxborough. Right. Let's slow it down. Let's regroup. And we're going to regroup with Amanzi, McElhenney, Mayer, Clarity, Sloan, and LeBeau. That is our rotation on the court at current. All seniors. And the serve, up and over. Mayer manages to set to Clority, who resets to Mayer. That's back up and over by Sharon and blocked by Mayer for the, two, for the point. I want to say for two points, but that's habitual. Here, you're going to see it here. And pass over Mayer right there. Nice block. With a great block. Sloan with the serve, jump serve. Uh, spun off her hand a little Jump bit. Jump serve wide. 
to the right. Sharon point, Sharon ball. McElhenney checks back in for Sloan. Here comes Sharon. Serve is up and caught in the net. So we, uh, Sharon so we, and Fokker exchange. Yes. Exchange freebies, that we'll call those. And with that, Mayer will go to serve. Kirk will check in. LeBeau will check out. Seems to be a pretty, and I missed Pettigrew come in at one point there. So we have a nice, nice save by, by Sharon. Sharon. Unable to get it over the net, though. A great effort to get to that ball. We are tied at 16. I believe last game we were tied at 16. That's true. That's true. Here we go. Oh, nice serve. Can history repeat itself. Quick one touch to get that back over. Amanzi oh, oh, what puts happened? the whistle. I think there's double hit. Was it a double hit or like, I don't know what it's called, but when the ball comes and you hold it too long, like a hold. But it's like a, it's like a carry. Yes. Yeah. I think that's what they called. So Sharon now with the ball. Looking to put some more points on the board. Foxborough looking to stop him. Oh. Again, the one-hander by McElhenney, unable to keep that in direction. I'm thinking that was going out. It, well, it, it um, I, you think so? I'm mm. not sure. That was, that, I'm not sure. But better off to play it. There was doubt, she, she decided to play it. She'll save that one on the dig. Clority yep. with the set. Amanzi with the, with the spike, not able to, Sharon able to maintain possession, but unable to clear, and that's gonna be a Foxborough point. Amanzi checking out, Pacella checking in to serve. To serve. Pacella, McElhenney, Mayer. Clority, Pettigrew, and Kirk for Foxborough. Sharon, the dig, the set, and the clear. Pettigrew managing to oh. stop her own rebound. That one gets away from Kirk. Kirk. She sends it high and out the back line. That'll be a Sharon ball. Nineteen seventeen, Sharon with, with the advantage. And the serve. And the serve. Here it comes. Pacello with the dig to Clority. Kirk rattles around. Sharon still has possession. McElhenney with the dig. Miscommunication there, I yep. think. Get caught up in the net. Not quite sure if it was gonna clear. And rolls out Sharon to 20. Timeout. Foxborough to talk it over. Vicky Santana says, hey, calm down. Let's have some fun. Let's not worry about this as much. Yeah, that last one, it, it looked like tight. it was going. It was, you know, just by a couple inches, so. I'll tell you, these. this is a grind. Game after game, a set of five. It's the, the mental ability to keep stay focused and keep your foot on the gas. You can, you can see how the game goes left and right and the momentum swings as they, uh, they get tired. Well, I think, I, yeah, I think to your point, it's that whole idea that you were talking about earlier of, um, of momentum and taking advantage of those opportunities that you have and seeing how much can you build and maintain that possession. Yep. Because otherwise, you, you know you're here for a long grind. Yep. Yeah. But <laughs> Foxborough <laughs> underclassmen giving their seniors some love. A little dance moves on the floor as a result. And it seems like when you get to 20, this is the critical part of the game. This is um, where every, every, every ball counts. No matter if Mayer you're- if To Clority, to Pettigrew with the spike. Fuck, uh, Sharon maintains possession. McElhenney to Clority, to Pettigrew. Point. Foxborough, there was a, a net infraction there by Sharon, because that was going to be a long. Because that was out. That was but. long, yeah. Pettigrew to take the serve here. McElhenney checking out, Sloan back in. Very busy front line right now. Good serve by Pettigrew. Sharon maintaining possession. They send it back oh. over, but out of play. Live ball. 
We have our Ava working the camera and, and making get. the play. Very well done. Pettigrew looking to build. High ball, hard serve. Dig, set, spike. Pettigrew with the dig to Pachella. Kirk just dumps it over. Oh, quick Whoa. dink. There it is. And nice. Sloan managing to get a fingertip on it. Just, a, just enough to redirect it exactly. in a different direction. Well, and, and, and with, a, with a little arc on it, too, so as not to touch the All right, here net. it is. Here's the replay on it. A little bit it. of avoidance there. Clority. Just a whoop. Don't mind me. Oh, oh. Pettigrew. That one, net ball. And she's out. And McElhenney is back in. A lot of handshakes. A lot of handshakes. Yeah, we, gotta, we gotta learn the handshakes. Yes, I, yeah, well. I feel like we, we're supposed to have one of our own. McElhenney uh, gets low. Look, what a Coachella save. Coachella saves. Oh! Uh. McElhenney unable to dig that up and over the net. But excellent work by Pachella to chase that one down as it goes sideways off the libero. Crunch time, ma'am. 22-20. Sharon. McElhenney. Clority. Sloan. Okay, I think that we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna that's a clear spike. <laughs> that was the definition. That one's it textbook. Had the speed, the height, and the sound. Textbook. Kirk checking out, LeBeau checking in. Foxborough trailing by one, 22-21 here in the second match. LeBeau, good hard serve. Sharon maintaining possession. Blocked oh. by Mayer. Can they send it over? That's three. They nope. cannot. Foxborough tugging. 22 all. 22 all. Nabeau, her third serve of this run. Here oh, we're going to see the block by Mayer. Puts it out of play. Foxborough with the serve. Nice. And the point. So we were down. Foxborough was down by two. They have now tied it and up by one. Riding hot hands and good opportunities here. Uh, Foxborough looking to add to the lead. Ball is up. Blocked, Blocked by, by six. Mayer. Textbook block. All the way up. Excellent Timed work. It. Time out. Sharon Foxborough at game point. Here it's going to see it right here. They answer. There's the dig. She go to make the to just dump it over, and she's right there. So that's at least her third block. Oh, of this so focused match. on that. Predicting, yep. predicting that. Elevated at the right time. Excellent work by the Foxborough players. You know, those, th th those kind of plays are game-winning plays right there. Absolutely. But again, you're seeing on, on that offensive, we're seeing a lot of great dig set spike feed, a lot of that clinical play. They're making great moves. And, and here, th then you're finishing at the line. And one thing we should know, Sharon is matching the intensity of Foxborough. 100%. I know we may be homers, 100%. but when the score is 24-22, they are matching it on play for play. The bow oh. sends it up and over. Foxborough picks up what a set two, match two. The serve goes off the net, throws off the speed, almost impossible for Sharon to, um, to dig that out. And that is game. Foxborough coming out on top. Foxborough leading two games to nil here. And, and in the driver's seat for sure. Absolutely in the driver's seat, yep, in the best of five. Um, and But to your point, Mike, in terms of the effort and the intensity and, and the effort on both teams' parts, you've got Foxborough winning both games, which means they got to 25 first, right, in both, in, in both instances. But Sharon with 21 points in the first match, 22 points in the second match. It's not a clear wide um, we're talking advantage. We're talking five, six points. You're, you're, we are. That's you know, exactly I right. I didn't do the math yet, but it's five, six points, and it would, you know, the, the, the shoe would be on the other foot real quick. So Sharon's really going to have to come out hard. They, obviously, they have to win this this next game. Yeah, the, pre um, the pressure is entirely on them now. But historically, when you watch sports and you see a team go up like this, there's a concern that the, the team up to nothing will unintentionally relax because right. they're in the driver's seat. And, and Sharon is, you know, they're, they're, they're kind of cornered here. 
and I think you're going to see them come out hot and try to take the lead early. Well, back to the wall. Nobody wants to go home no, that early. No, right? it's not at all. It's it's only 6.30. They don't want to go home yet. So the pressure pressure is on um, both both of them, but I agree. For Sharon, they're like, you know, they, they, they have the intensity going, and Foxborough can't afford to have that lag. We... Oh boy, 50-50 raffle. 50-50 raffle. I'm pretty, I'm pretty deep into this. I, I could be a winner, but I don't know where my tickets are. So, <laughs> well, we'll know if, if, um, if your wife or if uh, Katie go running across the court, we will know. I doubt neither one will be running across. I don't know. The, 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 big, big, big money at stake yeah. here. 50-50 raffle. And of course, all the funds go to the the boosters for the volleyball team. Only 50% of them do. Well, 50%. That's that's what I, well, well, that's what I call the proceeds, okay? Because <laughs> I assumed on a 50-50 draft that everybody knew that 50%. If, if you, well, here it is. If, if your other 50% would like to stay with the Foxborough but, Volleyball Boosters, no one will complain. No, no. They, if, will, they will make a very if, if, if I win, profound I, if, thank you. If we win, we turn it back in. Oh. That's kind of like check a puck in hockey. Did, Even did though you, you win, you give it back. Did you, you hear know? that, Foxborough? When Chief Grace wins, it's all going back to Absolutely. the program. Hey. So, Todd Kayser pulled Mike Grace's number. It's up, no pressure. All right. Foxborough getting ready. Foxborough and Sharon getting ready for their third match here. Again, Foxborough with LeBeau, Clority, Sloan, Mayer, Pettigrew, and 14 is Sarah Foley. All seniors? All seniors. Sharon, uh, the ref, is doing a roster check, it seems. All is well. Ah, roster check to sub out 34 and bring in the libero. And we are just about underway. I believe Ava has the camera on us. She does. Why on earth does the, the, no one? Oh, she's been wants she's that been directed from um, headquarters. From, from above. Apparently, yes. Oh boy, that's that's our hello, Fox, bro. Then yes. quickly they remove us yes, just like yes. that. We've been caught. Uh, McElhenney checks in for Pettigrew. Amber. Lebeau. and balls with in. With the serve, we are underway. Sharon with a quick hit, and that oh. is off the outside the back line and outside the gym. Jim, out and down the hall to the cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it stopped at the guidance department. It might have. It might have. Hey. LeBeau quickly on the board yeah. for Foxborough. Here comes her second serve, and we're away. Sharon, dig, set, up and over. Saved by Foley. Oh. And down the line. Nice spike in the corner there. Excellent. Great work by Foxborough. Maintaining possession. Spike coming up here. We're going to see it. And here's the instant replay. All right. So yep. Foley set to Clarity. And Boom. I think that's, is that Mayer in the middle? And you know what? You, you, watch, the in the you re watch the replay on uh, the screen. I can tell you in person, that's even faster. It, it is moving. Oh, big set. Spike is long. Yep. Sharon had it up. They set it up. And just a little wide. A little long. A little bit of Foxborough's advantage, though. Fo Fo well, Foxborough's coming out loose. They know they're, yeah. you, you, they're, they're loose. They're just they're just playing through it here. Seem to be. They're in a rhythm. That one's going to get no. away. A little, low, a little low. Because we just, we just said it. They're loose. They're relaxed. Yeah, and that's right. That's right. It's the, it's the commentator's curse. Ball through. Sharon going to get a bid here. Yep. Their first serve of the game. Let's see what they do with it. Number 11. Good hard serve. That's a, yeah, excellent hard oh. jump serve, but out off the back line. Unable to possess. And... 
Foxborough to take possession back with the serve. Coming up, Clority checking out Foley. Checking in is Isabel Labonte. That one's up and over. Doug, dinked, possessed, spiked. That's pretty good, Kevin. You're Thank commentating you and you're catching the ball. Live action. Losing. There you go. This is why they put us in this corner over here. Uh, got apparently, yes. Yeah. If you notice, this is the only corner that's getting them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll autograph the next one that comes in if they want. Oh, that one goes long. We're already unable to keep that within the playing court. Oh, I thought they were going to say, here's it, the look of it, Penders it, catching it. No such luck. No. Uh, but there's a nice little dig set and spike there. That was by Mayer. Sharon with their serve mm -hmm. to the net. Catching Tuna, not able to catch points. Foxborough will take possession again. Checking out is McElhenney in his Pettigrew. Serve is coming from Sloan, who has been hitting him hard. And does again. Oh. Hard, but long. Sloan checks out. McElhenney checks back in. A little bit of a rhythm here. We're going for serve for serve. No one's really um, earning it. The other team's giving them to him right now, so. We'll Agreed. see. Yeah, no, possession has been a challenge. They're just sort of trading buckets right now. McElhenney, Clardy just dinks it over. And they're going to call that a point. Uh, nice dunk. For Foxborough, nice dunk there. Agreed. Out goes LeBeau. Is In the, comes Kirk. Is the you replay see the on the dump dump? there by Clardy. Excellent work by her. Nice dig by the libero for Sharon. That one comes and works its way around. Mayer to Clarity to oh. Labonte, not able to get that over and clear. Sharon was there ready and waiting for it as well. They continue to trade points. Sharon with the serve. And we're away. Hit. Set. Set again. Long back hit. Back line back hit by Mayer. Yeah. yeah, we haven't seen many of those. Always been in front. And a dump by Clarity. And another dump, but answered by McElhenney. He sends that one long off Pettigrew. Can Sharon, Sharon with the volley up and over. McElhenney with the ball to Clarity. To Kirk. To Kirk. And then yeah. caught up in the net on the volley and the answer by Sharon Foxborough with the point. What a battle, both teams, both teams. That back was a and great forth. back and forth volley there. Labonte with the serve. That's, ooh! ooh. I, ooh. You're not a referee. I'm not. Yeah. I play one on TV though. Yeah, okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> And if I played one on TV, I would say that was on the line. But he's got a good view. He had a better view. Yes. Foxborough, Sharon with the serve. Deep serve, high. Mayer to Clardy. Answer by McElhenney. Oh, oh there it was. Campfire. There was the campfire right there. Somebody break out some s'mores. A little miscommunication. Yep. That could be a What's, that what could was the other one that that's referenced as? That was, that was husband and wife. That was husband and wife, wasn't it? Yeah. A little disagreement over what's for dinner. Yeah. Jeez. Pettigrew with the serve. Good serve. Sharon, big set. Spike. Yeah. Right, Foxborough with a dump, not there. Sharon catching on. Oh, nice little dump yeah. of their own. Yeah. Clarity to Kirk. Kirk sends it to the back. Labaro from Sharon gets a piece. Foxborough. Both teams looking for that hole. They're find, trying to find that gap to drop the oh ball. Oh, my goodness. Standing spike by Sammy Sloan. Yeah. That one just drills low. It's a pretty high skill set to stand there and pick that. Uh, right? I mean, that four was a, inches over net. That was a very casual spike. Well, captain four year, you know, captain fourth year. Probably sure. seen a lot of those, done a lot of those. Pettigrew looking to increase the line. Deep That's serve. Be deep oh. and in as they paint the corner. Here we're going to see it. So we get Clarity on the save. 
Sloan just with a, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And, and it is. Just timed it enough distance away from the net where she didn't have to elevate herself. Yeah. She was like, I'm done playing with this. Let's get rid of the ball. Pettigrew continuing. Yeah, she's picking her corners now. Sharon. She's, she's, she's Pettigrew with a set. Clority with a set. Kirk with a spike. Oh, nice they got dig a piece of it. Nice save by Sharon. Good dig by Cl Pettigrew over to Clority. Spike by Sloan. Foxborough's ball. I think there's some statistic they, they keep for kills. They, and, there and, is. There, and I, I think she is potentially one of the leaders. See it here. Pettigrew to Clority. Up, Sloan, boom. Here comes Pettigrew, 12-5, Foxborough. Now she's on fire, sir. She right is, now. but that one's oh. out. Oh, yeah. I had it. It's like ball number six in our corner. This is pretty good. We're gonna I, <laughs> keeping us active. <laughs> I don't know. You seem very comfortable over there. You haven't had to. Well, I'm kind of locked in the box here. <laughs> You have an exit strategy over there. I, I, I can't. I, my I mean, option would go I, over the table. See, and you know how that would go. You thought it was. You thought I was up to something nefarious when I started getting myself extra wire on the headset. Blocked by Sloan. Oh. A spike by Sloan is blocked by Sharon. I think we had a net violation on Fox. I think we had extra extra touches. Yep. We were out of touches at that point. Um, but uh, Sharon managing to come away there. Sharon needs a run here. Down by five. Good serve, a low dig. Clarity with a second answer. That one's got to go over. It does. Sharon looking to answer there. They do. Uh -oh. Mayer to Clarity to Mayer. He get, manages to get it out there. Up and over from Sharon McElhenney giving chase. Oh uh -oh. my goodness! Everybody on the floor. I love it. A lot of touches. There. Great a lot of hustles. Touches. Great, great effort. Both, both sides. Both sides. Sharon comes away with the point. Great effort, both sides. You see it there, multiple volleys. Oh, oh. Sharon gets peace. Kirk just with a dump here. Kirk got a piece of that one. McElhenney got a piece of it too, but not able to it slowed control it. Down. it. Yeah, it just slowed it down. Well, I did say Sharon needed a run, and they yeah. have a little bit of a run going. Uh, you also said you need the 50-50. So let's see if uh, your powers of persuasion are that good. And then oh, we'll, I, I don't we'll think close out with what you think the numbers are going to be for tonight. Down goes Foxborough. They get the dig there. Oh, net, net violation by Sharon. Yes. Substitution coming up. Out goes Kirk. In comes LeBeau to serve. Foxborough, 13-9. Lefty serve. Good spike. Long, Foxborough with the point. I don't know if we've seen the coaches try to tighten it up a little bit, but the rotations have decreased a little bit when Foxborough, I'm not seeing as many different people rolling through. I think you're, uh, yeah, I think you're, I think you're seeing your you're, we're working with our with our senior star starters here and going yep. with it. But you're right; it has it has tightened up a little bit. There's two or three players that seem to be rotating in with any regularity at this point, and it's all about matchups and position. Number Sharon 11 comes uh, away with possession yeah, she, there. They're gonna 11, serve she, now. She served uh, two times ago. She's got a hard serve, real hard. A hard jump yep. serve. Yeah, McElhenney to Clarity. Sloan wow. gives it a pop. Oh. Sloan denied at the line. Sharon answers with a bunch of rattling around and then just manages to dump it over and Clority unable to. Yeah, this, um, this uh, dump number it 11 back. from Sharon. She, this serve is hard. This is coming hard. I think it's the pumpkin socks. Uh, I don't I don't. I think it's. I, I love them. They're festive. She's got. Oh, yeah. that one gets away yeah. from Foxborough. Sarah Foley unable to set. That rolls off her hand out of play. Uh, yeah, I think I, I think that's a good touch here. We're we're in October. It's it's uh, pumpkin season. Duncan would be happy. Not a sponsor, but they could be. <laughs> they they would be happy. Yeah, 14-12, Foxborough. McElhenney, set by Clarity. Sloan, 
Oh, he has a carry. I think that yeah, one, that's yeah. a point. Yeah. yeah. Sloan with the with the spike, caught up on the net by the Sharon defenders, uh, and double hit. So that's going to be a Foxborough point. Clarity to serve. Foley checks out. Labonte checks in. That's a nice serve. Right to the back line. Sharon possesses. That is not able to get up and over the net. Foxborough with the point. Mayer, again, imposing in that center, sp center spot for yeah, Foxborough. She's, the, she's been everywhere tonight. In, but in the last two games in yeah. particular, she has absolutely controlled that spot on the floor. Clority unable to clear Sharon Ball. Yeah, just uh, didn't get the elevation on the serve and hit it a little too late on the way down. And yep. Into the net. Oof, that was loud. Okay. That was a Sharon. Mayor, oop, oh, oop, oh, oop. Oh. Oh. Mayor to Clarity, unable to connect on that. It gets caught up in the net. They're yep. gonna have a timeout here, one minute. Who called the timeout? Foxborough. I believe Foxborough did. Yep. I believe Foxborough did. Well, you were saying it was going to get it was it was it's likely to get close. It's going to get it's going to be a challenge, you know. To, you're up by two, and you know you kind of relax a little bit. And Sharon's playing, you know, they want to stay in this. Yeah, they want to go to 7:30 tonight. That's <laughs> don't we all? Uh, it could be 8:30 at this point. <laughs> it's Monday. What do we have to do? Hey, you know what? Where else would you rather be? Pats aren't playing. Your yeah, 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 you're you're a parent. Your, your daughter's out here playing. It doesn't get any better than this. That's right. That's right. But, the enjoy atmos the enjoy atmosphere. every moment of what you have. Foxborough checking back in with Labonte, McElhenney, Mayer. But know what's so, ni so, so nice about the sport? Lebo, the coaches. Stone and Clority, sorry. The coaches, the referees, the demeanor of the fans. It's just, you know, it's very intense, but very nice dig by McElhenney. Saved by Labonte, up and over by Lebeau. That was a great job for Foxborough to save oh. that. Another one. Oh, nice bid by McElhenney. Again, getting low to dig that one up into the net. Unable to be played by Foxborough. We had a one-point game here. We're going to be at 16s again. Well, it well, seems like it's the magic number. It does. That just shows you how close these games are. Right. That one's hard and out. Okay, guess what? We're not going to be matched up at 16s. No, we're not. We're going to be in the neighborhood, though. Sloan checking out Pettigrew coming in. McElhenney to take the serve. Have we seen the serve a lot tonight? I don't know. I have not seen her serve a no. lot tonight. But she's she's staying and, yep. and going long. And with that, Sharon will take possession and the opportunity to serve. They've got a substitution coming on. Number two serving. Number two. Here we go. Foxborough waiting to receive. Oops, miscommunication there. Yeah. That one gets off of LeBeau and out of play. We won't tie up at 16, Mike, but we will tie up at 17 yes. just for you. Yeah. We know how much you like ties. Team ties. Here we go. Nice serve. McElhenney saves Labonte. McElhenney over. Sharon now answering. They do. LeBeau. We got That's a net violation we got a on net someone. Net violation. Uh, on Foxborough. I don't know. I, I, somebody's going to have to explain to me what, what the hand gestures are. I don't quite have their volleyball sign language down. Uh, but that is a point for Sharon on the net. Nice serve by number two. Yeah, she's she's hitting it hard. Clarity manages to keep it in play. Pettigrew gets it over the net. Sharon answers. Clarity. Mayer not able to clear the block. Oh, Ooh, nice dribbler by Sharon to get up and over. We were just uh, sidetracked by um, a question from the audience. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the question was going to be different than it was. 
there, here you're going to see that nice, nice drib dribbler or clear, just clears the net. McElhenney tries to get to it. Labonte tries to help her on the other side, but just really almost a worm burner. Yeah, it's on second the other and third efforts on every ball. No yeah. teams. 19-17, Sharon taking charge. Speaking of taking charge, Scott Daniels running around for Foxborough Cable. Something's going on on, on the bird's nest. Sure, must nope. be. Oh, nope. Foxborough taking advantage of a hard, long serve by number two. It's out of play. Ball to Foxborough, 1918. Low battery in the bird's nest. We got side camera work brought to you by um, Kevin O'Malley right now. Thank you, Kevin O'Malley. Foxborough with the serve. That looks oh. oh, McElhenney manages to maintain possession. And that is going to stay inbounds. Right on the and line. Going to be Foxborough ball. Yeah, they, I, I, Sharon thought that was out. Well, I'm not sure if the coaches actually uh, might have said it was going out well, to their player. Yeah, I mean, to again, yep. with the two refs, he was right there yep. in great position to make the call. That ball. We are Sharon going point, answers. point for point here. No one can get any it's, sustained um, points. It is, it is, a, it, they are grinding every point. I agree. Substitution by Sharon. Number eight now to serve. Here it comes. That one, soft. Dug by Mayer, answered by Clarity. And Back line hit by Mayer as well. Oh. Labonte oh. to I think we Kirk. Have a, I think we have either a net on that one. Uh, we, they didn't like that. They didn't. They didn't like the hit by Kirk. So that brings it 21-19. Oh, oh. Mayer looking to get a yeah, get a she, set it rolled down on her. Is she in the um, the front row or the rear? She's, no, she's, she's in the back row. She's in the back. Yep. You and know, when it comes here, your instinct is to that, play it. Right. That's right. Here comes another one. McElhenney to Clarity. Long to Pettigrew. Pettigrew through two defenders, but maintained possession, Sharon does. Here they come. McElhenney to Clarity to Kirk. Back over to Sharon's side uh. of the net. And Sharon unable to clear through the net. Foxborough. With the point, Labonte to make the serve. You know, as I said, when it's you get a to loud bench in. over there. Yep. Everybody very into it right now. Uh, oh, oh nice. nice serve. Great job to maintain possession by Sharon. McElhenney digs. Clarity. Oh, I thought, I, I thought I that was a double hit there. there. It's, but a block by yep. Clarity. And that's going to be Foxborough point. Yeah, I thought so too, Mike. Yeah, I, that seemed like that was a double hit as it was rolling around. I don't think it actually touched the Foxborough player, but but they got two referees there, so right. Well, we have two announcers. We, yes, that's true. That's going to be a long ball. Nice bid by Labonte, just outside. I think both teams on this um, third match have had a lot of serves outside. Run long. Of, yeah, just yep. they're, they're hitting them hard and they're a trying extra to adrenaline. Yep. Leaving leaving nothing short on the net. Checking out is Labonte. Checking back in is Foley. And goes to Foley, to Clority, to Pettigrew, who paints the line. Nope. She's on fire on that she left side. She has been incredibly yep. effective with that play. And now she's going to go right to the serve. Yeah, no, no, no wasted measures here. Here it comes. Clority, long set to Pettigrew. But it's like a, it's like a hook spike. You don't even know where it's going. No. Well, she does. Well, <laughs> clearly, with a lot of confidence, too. Foxborough, Pettigrew with the dig. That was. Sloan answers. Mayer up and over. Sharon looking to press the advantage. Uh, Foley getting low, one hand unable to maintain. Just, it's game point for Sharon. Oh yeah, they just dumped it into that empty space over there. They did. I mean, Foley got down low to get there, but not able to possess. Pettigrew checks out. Can't see who's in. I got uh, Sloan up front. Sloan, Kirk, and Clority up front. Foley, McElhenney, and 
Mayer, who just got that one to Clority, to Sloan. They Sharon answers. Yeah, that Sharon is answering Michael all these Henny hot spikes. With a little dump to Clority over the net. Sharon answers. Mayer to Clority. Long down the side. Oh, there and it is. And that's going to be Foxborough point. And another ball for Kevin Fenders. Here it comes Here's right the here. Replay. There's the, the set. Excellent, wow. strong spike. Also impressive how she manages to come down and land. She's a, she knows where she's going. She comes down and lands on the space so that she doesn't touch the net. Never allowing it enough LeBeau to cross. LeBeau with the serve. And that one gets away from wow. Sharon on the spike. We are knotted yeah. up at 24, Mike. This is it. Knotted up at 24. Sharon had an opportunity to put it away, and Foxborough held him. You definitely can see Foxborough very interested in ending this right now. There's a dig. There's a dig. There's a bump up and over. Unable to communicate and get that into a set. Block by Mayer. Set. Clarity. Still up. Mayer. Oh! oh! And that's 25. Foxborough taking full advantage. Timeout, oh. Sharon. That was an excellent, excellent set by both teams, but Foxborough finishing there, just dinking just it under. A lot of, just dinking it over the line. A lot and, of restraint. Yeah. And, and to, to, to not want to just hammer that. And here, we're going to see it right here. As Foxborough goes up. That was close to Clarity, right? It, that, so Clarity it, makes this, right? makes the bid there, right. But then you see them come back over. Mayer is the one who's got uh, the Mayer. 16. Okay. And, right then she, and right there. Instead of hitting it hard, she just soft passes it. Drops to, it in. Right. So the, the, the defender, the blocker, is there expecting to take that full you know, front attack. And instead just gets underwhelmed. Yeah, by, well, underwhelmed is right? exactly it. Where did this come from? So It doesn't have enough to push back. And it falls. So LeBeau, Sydney LeBeau with the serve. That's away. This is game point. Sharon, this is game point. Manages to up and over. And yeah, that's just it. like that, Clarity puts a little bit of pressure on it. Things are broken up. Foxborough takes a 26 24 win. And the Mike, fresh. they take all, they take the game in three sets, three straight matches. Very impressive work. And I think we said it was six points, and now it's seven points. Right. When you think about it, seven right. or eight points. It's that They were that close. Great sportsmanship, both it, teams. It's a nine-point differential in those three games. Nine points. Amazing work. And you see, very excited. I love this. I have to say, win or lose, yep. they, they do this. The, the morale component to volleyball is unlike any other sport I have been uh, had the privilege to be around. Yeah, they are really phenomenal at uh, at just the amount of excitement that is brought to their exchanges, their their engagement together. Senior night, a great senior night for the Foxborough Warriors, winning in three straight games. Always That's nice. Tremendous. Always nice. I don't think anybody expected three straight wins, but you know you'll take them. I take them. You so know? should should we give a little shout out to our seniors one more time? As we uh, just give them a little... Uh, yeah, let's give them a little so a roster roll call. A little roster roll call, yeah. Excellent. So shouts out to uh, number two, Juliana Pettigrew. Number three, Ava Kirk. Number five, Sydney LeBeau. Number six, Captain Shannon McElhenney. Number eight, Isabel Labonte. Uh, number nine, Isabel Pacella. Number 12, Captain Sammy Sloan. Number 14, Sarah Foley. Number 15, Captain Alyssa... Clority, number 16, Mallory Mayer, and number 19, Stephanie Amanzi. They were fantastic. And we had the, we had the, the pleasure of being able to see uh, a lot of those seniors get some, some work in here tonight as well. Um, really strong work by the Foxborough Lady Warriors. I'm impressed. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, a little momentum coming into the uh, end of the season. They've got a, a couple big games ahead of them. Helps them, helps them with their playoff seedings as they are likely to be in the Division Three playoffs. Um, they are currently ranked 20th out of 
those teams, so this certainly helps them improve yeah, playing against the Division II team yeah, they, and getting they, a win. Yeah, and if they climb up there and get into the middle pack, your, your seeding's even better. They'll be, they will be—they—they have a chance to host a home game, Yeah. in oh. which case they're going to bring you back and make you call another one. You too. Well, All right. We could do that, sure. So four games left on the roster for the Foxborough Lady Warriors. We've got uh, another home game this week on the 19th against Stoughton at 515, so come on down yeah. and watch it. Uh, and then they go on the road to, uh, I'm sorry, they're away at uh, Stoughton on the 19th. They're home on Friday against Braintree, non-league game. And then they've got a, games, two games next week, the 24th at Canton, and the 26th they wrap up their season here against Oliver Ames. Um, Foxborough improving to 2-11 and 11 in the Hawk and 5-11 and 11 overall. And I hear the music, and I think we're getting our, um, our, our, we getting our sign. We're getting the hook. It's That's time to go. Fine by us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so shout out to all of the folks who manned cameras for us tonight. Carrie, Kevin, Ava. As always, a thank you to Foxborough Cable Access for making this coverage possible. So big shout out to Mike Weber and to Scott Daniels for their work setting this up for us tonight. Todd Kayser and his great job announcing the seniors, the boosters for making this uh, opportunity for the girls to have a special night as well. And uh, Mike Grace, a pleasure to spend an evening with you and talk some volleyball. And Kevin, equally, um, I'm impressed by your play-by-play, -play, really. <laughs> but, you know, three sports in, now four, so it's impressive. So I, it. I, I believe. Wait till contract I negotiations. Yeah, well, I believe you have a second career going on, you know? <laughs> I'm still focused on the first one. Okay. We'll see what happens. All right. But for, for us here, thank you for watching and listening. Uh, Foxborough takes it in three straight games and improves their record on senior night. Congratulations to all the seniors and all the Foxborough players here today. We are a wrap. <laughs>